So it's about the resonance of fairy tales and myths in our everyday lives, I think. It's tied up with that idea of significance in a landscape. It's also, it's about literary images and how they live on in your memory. All these heroines of the forest, it's a kind of alternative view where the female, I think, is perhaps more aligned with the magical animals and the queer beasts that kind of ferment and boil in that forest. The painting, um, The Goose Girl, which I've done, where you can just see her feet in yes. the grass. Yes. And again, I'm looking, you know, obviously she's been um, deposed from her horse and um, usurped, her position has been usurped by her serving maid, but I'm just thinking whether maybe she felt more herself up on the meadows with the geese in the sunshine and the wind, with her feet in the clover. Yes, this one is um, linked to the story of the 12 swans. Is it 12 swans or 11 or is it 13? Anyway, I think it's 12. They are enchanted by an evil fairy and their sister has to weave them um, 12 shirts out of nettle flax to yeah. free them from the spell. Mm -hmm. But also this is about the traditional women's knowledge of herbs and the, the uh, occupation of gathering um, from the wild, so her orangeness is a kind of expression of a connection with the earth.